All right, how's it going, everybody? Darren Martin out here with ProMagicArt.com, and uh, we're forming a new group in Las Vegas, which is called the Las Vegas Mystics, and it is uh, my mentor Alan Ackman and I, and many other magicians, and uh, we're we have a show. We got a new show. We we uh, we've secured the location. Uh, it's going to be in Chinatown. I will announce it when the show. The show is going to be about uh, sometime in April or May. We're working on the marketing, we're working on the production, everything like this. It's going to be the world's greatest close-up magicians uh, together, and we're going to have a very unique show. So I'm excited to announce that. Um, just last week, these are some updates with Pro Magic Art. Uh, Fanique from Mexico, one of Mexico's uh, greatest magicians, uh, lectured at Gary Darwin's Magic Club here in Las Vegas at uh, Tommy Rockers every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock. Come and join us if you're in town. Uh, and... Uh, what happened was uh, his lecture was one of the best lectures I've seen in a long time. Um, he did his coin work he opened up with. He did his card work. He did some rope stuff. And uh, I'm not a big fan of rope magic, but then again, when you look at the rope stuff he was doing, it was so super visual. So I love super visual magic. So all I have to say is that was great, Fanique. Thank you. Uh, I recommend his book, The Code. Um, he has some very unique coin vanishes called The Mexican Toss. Um, he showed that. He showed uh, three really incredible coin things. Uh, he showed uh, a coin production, and then he showed uh, uh, another thing as well. I have the notes on it, and uh, all I got to say is absolutely incredible. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a routine that I'm working on, and I'll show you two different ways in the explanation. I'm going to do a performance video of it. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, right now. It's, I'm working on a one-handed. Uh, Ace production. Uh, this one will be the two-handed one first, then I'll show the one-handed one, which is a knuckle buster next. Um, it starts off, you wind up the deck, right? You wind up the deck, and the deck is kind of like a computer. And uh, this goes back to Marietta's uh, computer cards, which I use for this. You go, look, the deck's like a computer. It's searching and searching for the card. And then you get one to come out, just like this. It pops out. And then you have a visual Ace production like that. Ace takes a bow. And now uh, you can start off with an Ace production, like so. Uh, the next one, what I do is I'll have a card selected, and they can select any card they like, and I go, there you have it, the two of clubs, right? And then from there, you can go into any color change you like. So I'll show you this classic one from Erdnays, you know, which is like this. Whoa, hold on a minute. That wasn't good. <laughs> I'm just kind of tipping some stuff in this. There you go. So I'm kind of tipping some things in this, so I'll tip you that color change. Uh, the first one, what you do is they select out a card, Okay, and it's nice if you get a face card, you can classic force it or put a bunch of face cards together because of the uh, pale in comparison. This is from Erdnays. You hold the card here, your pinky is going to insert the card right here between your pinky and ring finger, and that will happen as you're displaying the card, okay? Then you quickly turn it over and bam, you get the next ace, okay? Then what I do is uh, I slip cut that one into the middle as I'm doing some cuts, and I have a setup here, which I, uh, I will show you in a second. Um, I do some, I do some shuffles, and I say, "Look, there's no aces," and then on the uh, top or bottom, and I show the top card very cleanly. I'll show a king of diamonds. It's only one card, no double lifts or nothing for magicians, right? And you show the bottom card, and then you can wind up the deck and produce the last one very visually, like so. And it's a nice uh, ace production to do. I'm going to tip that now. So it starts off. What we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, have a setup of the ace of spades, the ace of clubs is on top, okay? Um, you have the next ace on top, the next ace. So you have the four aces on top, right? Where these two aces, the two black ones are faced position, right? Face to face, just like that. That's your setup. You can do any, come out, uh, bring out the cards. You can fan the deck, uh, just not exposing the reverse position, right? And you can do uh, a false shuffles or cuts that you'd like. Um, you can do a... Uh, you know, jog, shuffle, whatever you want to do. I'm just showing you just some uh, cool way to do it here. You start off with the first one. Uh, you, you double cut the, uh, as you wind it up, you kind of flash the bottom of the card so they know there's no ace. And then as you wind it up, you make a pass or double cut and get that card going to the bottom real quick. So I've just passed one to the bottom, right? So you do that as you say, we're going to wind up the deck and do, do something tricky here, right? Then you can do the mayor yet it's a computer cut, which I think I've shown in another video, but if not, you just out jog two packets like that and you're just doing like a diagonal palm shift but you're pushing it back and forth and when you do this real quick it's a really cool flourish 
called the computer cut flourish. That's Marietta's, that's not mine, but I use it. And then he uses pop it out. Um, this is something shown to me by Chris Kenner. This is a, uh, a rising card in Re Revelation. I'm gonna show you that. So you start off with the Kelly position and then you keep going around. Then your knuckles are going to uh, ride the card up, rise it up. Then your pinky's gonna flip that over, okay? So we'll do that again, okay? Wind up the deck. You say it's kind of like a computer. You have jumped some cards. You get them a close up of that and it looks really cool. Then you go like a computer. It's gonna spit out the card. It prints out the card like the like the old school printer, just like that. So that's the first one, okay? Now from there you can do the uh, Paul Harris instant replay if you wish, a little flourish. And then at this point in time, what you're gonna do is have them select out a card and uh, it doesn't matter which card, but it's nice if you get a face card, so you can put a block of face cards together. And uh, the way you do that is just put, you know, some face cards together, like about, all you need is like really six or seven of them in the middle. And then the way you know where it is, is you'll have your key card, it would be like the ten of spades. So when you riffle, you see the ten of spades, or when you make that fan, you can see where it is, see the ten of spades, and then you can just in jog it. And keep a little break so when you go through you know where it is now see those next cards they can have a free choice any one of those seven cards they like and that's just if you want to get them you don't have to but it's nice to have a, a face card now you're gonna do the Erdnase change you show this one here and this is what it looks like you pop it okay it's a very visual change and what you're doing is uh, you're holding the card as you're displaying it and you're going to secretly load the top AC so hearts in between your pinky and ring finger like so okay now when you quickly turn this over you're holding this in biddle grip it's going to just bring that right out, okay? That's a, that's an old school change, but it's still very good, okay? So you get two aces. Now for the last ones, what you have on top, you have to burn now that, that. so you do a slip cut. Under the guise of doing some false cuts, do some false cuts, right? Your favorite false cut. Now on top, you're gonna to have the face aces. So what you do at this point is you uh, pinky count three cards, correct? You flip over the triple. Now you can show this very cleanly. You can drop it. Look, it's not a double, it's a single. That's why I drop it on the table. Or magicians more but that's the show it's not a double then you flip over um, the triple and then you show nothing on top or bottom you do a little wind up gag or whatever you want to do and then I'll show you in another video I have a one handed four ace production which I'm working on I'm going to tip that but today I just wanted to show this as a nice ace production for you so I'll keep you updated on what's going on with our magic show uh, the magic club and everything that's happening here in Las Vegas so please subscribe for more videos today thank you